Hello guys, Robert one here coming at you with a new Yu-Gi-Oh! video and in today's Yu-Gi-Oh! video we're going to be opening a booster box of King's Court. The new set that houses new god card reprints with the new Millennium Rare which I kind of want to pull just to see what it looks like. Utopic Future Dragon, an amazing negate monster that takes two XCs monsters and all new King's Queens and Jack's Knight support and Joker's Knight, an absolutely new insane XC, uh, well not XCs monster, Warrior Special Summon monster that I actually do want to get a play set of because well the card is really really good and it's basically just a magician's souls for warrior based decks so I want to be getting a play set of that for myself but I probably won't get one because it's an ultra rare and you want to get free ultras in these type of boxes but honestly I want to be getting something cool from this set like King's Court has a lot of really cool things in it I kind of want to pull one of the Egyptian God cards preferably Slifer because he's my favorite God card in that new Millennium Rare and see how it looks if it looks good I might keep it like I've just been seeing pictures and it just looks like a standard Ultra Rare and I'm just like what's Millennium Rare about it like the Millennium Rare normally has Hylogress all over it but I, I don't know what we're going to get in this I want to see what we're going to get in this so let's actually go ahead crack this box open with my sword just like the Kings Queens and Jack's Knight world and see what we can pull in this booster box of King's Core I'm really hoping for some cool cards um like I don't know exactly the best thing to pull like the thing that I want to pull the most I would say is probably the Utopic Future Dragon for my number collection slash to actually you know use and own in like other decks um but I don't know like there's a lot of good cards in here I do want all the Kings Queens Jack's Knight support because that's also some really really cool stuff that we could potentially get like there's just so many different cards that you could potentially get in here that I really do want to pull and it's even actually kind of want to pull the new uh Kings Queens Jack's Knight it's Rescue Rabbit card as well that'd be also a nice pull but first pack of Kings Court let's see what we get hopefully it'll be good like come on Let's get something really good. Uh, I would also like to pull at least a collector's rare because it's like that. That just makes back the, back the box because these boxes, types of boxes, don't really have good value making back because of free ultra rares. But you know, we'll see what we get. So we start off with a cloud castle. Not bad. Nice reprint. M7. I don't like it as a common. I prefer my secrets. Pop duality. Really good reprint there as I thought as well. Golden Eyes Idol. This is actually a new import card that came in King's Court. And Queen's Knight. Nice, nice. I will, you know, I thought these were going to be like collector's rares, like reprint collector's rares, but I don't think they are. Eternal Bond. This is a photon card. And starting off with Joker's Wild. Okay, so first super is Joker's Wild. I also did a review on this set, guys. So if you want to go see that, um, it, it's on the channel. Uh, just talking about my thoughts on the whole set in general and thinking what it was like. And, you know, if you want, uh, it's, it's take a look. But Unexpected Die, really good card, honestly. Good reprint there, too. Because I believe, like, these... Like, these only had reprints in gold and also only had main set reprint, actually, as well. Zen, this is actually something I was really happy to see because this is something I didn't actually own. Um, wind up Arsenal Zen, My uh, Zen Mayo because this is just a rank 5 that was really hard to get for the longest time. Dowsing Fusion, really bad Fusion Pendulum spell. Tide of the Brethren, another decent reprint. And the Wicked Avatar, this is something else I thought they would put in Collector's Rare and I don't know if they did put it in Collector's Rare. Um, it would make sense if they did put it in Collector's Rare because, like, Wicked Gods, you know, really cool. Um, and we also got Magnet Induction, new Magnet Warrior support for. Like, this is, this is pretty much just a Yugi box. And slash uh, Yu-Gi-Oh! R box with the Wicked Gods. And kind of Photon box, I guess. So, Zexal box? I don't know. Um, Utopic Future. Like, this is just a really good card. Um, Infinite Cards. ZW Eagle Claw. I don't think they should have reprinted this. Um, King's Knight. Decent thing there as well for the deck. Um, Pop Duality. Another good reprint. Arcana Joker. And Hyper Galaxy. This is a draw card or something for Galaxies? Uh, no, Tribute 1 Monster. No, this is the thing that I was like, um, Successor Soul, which special summons like a Galaxy Eyes from the deck by tributing two monsters. Not bad, not bad. Uh, Stardust Zhang uh, Zhao Long. Leo Arms. Actually, this is a pretty good reprint just because of all the Utopia stuff. Like, this had an ulti and an ultra reprint originally, and I don't think it had a reprint since, so pretty decent there. Tornado Wing. This was a good reprint, I'd say, for the Utopia deck. Uh, Utopia Ray. I don't know why I was reprinting Cloud Castle. Topic Future and Face Cards Fusion. This is the one that's basically a shadow fusion for the Fusion Knights. Uh, fusion summon one light warrior from your extra deck using monsters from your hand off the other's material. If you control Queen's Queens, uh, if you control Queen, Kings, or Jack's Knight, use one monster from your deck's material until yet. So it's basically just a uh, shadow fusion S card where if you control the King, Queens, or Jack's Knight, you get free fusion summon, which isn't bad. Uh, M7. Pendulum of Xyz, uh, Zolga the Prophet, this is the, like the uh, Shizu card, 
that was made for the gods. Uh, Queen's Knight, Pot of Duality, King's Knight, okay. And Thunder Force Speed Summon. I need a place out this because this card says Search Slide for the Sky Dragon and boy, I want to be able to Search Slide for the Sky Dragon. Like that was one of my, my favorite cards to be made for this set. Just a card that says, oh, we can Search Slide because they've never, they've never done that before. Rescue Rabbit, another decent reprint. Wicked Eraser, um, Arms, Goat. Like this, this is actually something I wanted to get a play set of because I actually don't own Gravekeeper Spies and I play Goat. So this is actually something that's nice reprint just so I can have for Goat format. Oh, we got the Eraser and the Avatar in the same pack. Cloud Castle and Court of Cards. Um, something we actually haven't got is the Wicked Dread Root yet, have we? We haven't actually got a Wicked Dread Root yet. And we're a quarter through the box. Hmm, wonder where the Wicked Dread Root is. Like, I don't... Honestly, I'm not sure what I... Like, th this box, I'm not sure what we're going to get out of it. I don't know what to expect, but I'm just... You know, I'm just try hoping we get something good. Utopia, that's a decent reprint, I guess. Uh, Rescue Rabbit, again, like, I, I was going to say before, but Rescue Rabbit's actually a really good reprint, because this has very few reprints. Like, I believe this only has a super, a secret, and a common in a structure deck. So that's actually a pretty decent reprint there. Um, this sh this shouldn't have been reprinted. This should have been the uh, Tiger, I think. Uh, another Wilds Joker. Like, honestly, this set, it had quite a few weird reprints that didn't really make sense to me. Um, and I was hoping they were going to put other stuff in, but there's also a lot of good reprints in here. Like I said, Gravekeeper Spy, like, I need a place of this for goats, so that's for nice. Idol, hey, our first Wicked Dread Rune. Like, this is the um, Obelisk, uh, the Obelisk uh, opposite god for the Wicked Dead Gods. And Crystal Gell, I believe this is um, just basic Mermail support as well. If this card is normal or special summoned, you can activate this card, this effect. During the end phase of this turn, add one level 5 or higher war monster from your deck to your hand. If you control a level 5 or higher war monster, and this card is in your graveyard, you can special summon this card by banishing one of Yeah, it's basically just Mermail support, I'd say. Um, like, it's not a Mermail card, but it's generic war support That's for, that Mermails can abuse. So I would just say it's Mermail support. Uh, Zolga, Ties of the Brethren, Arcana Joker, that's our first one of that. Eagle, Queen's Knight, and our first Ultra Rare okay i didn't think this was an ultra rare but this is something interesting i forgot what it does though so this is morph king stiggy gill uh, and this is if this card is normal special summon, you can target one other face of monster on the field you can express someone from the extra except from the extra except synchro monsters for the rest of this turn also change this card's level to the level of that target and if you do gain life points equal to the target's level times 200 during your main phase the especially is one fiend monster with this a level lower than this card from your hand Eh? I mean, it's an ultra rare. I can't really complain. I was hoping for something better, like in all honesty, but you know, I I'll take what I can get. Like, I didn't really think I'll get that. I didn't even think that would be an ultra rare when I was reviewing the set. So that's okay. Um, I, I don't think it's a good card. I, I don't think that's a great card. Uh, another Wicked Dread Root, though. Cloud Castle, M7, Pop Duality, Golden Eyes, Queen's Knight, and a Rose Princess. This is actually better. This should this this is a card I would have thought, oh, this should have been an Ultra Rare instead of that. <laughs> because this is basically just says search a field spell that says special summon plant monsters. Like that's that's just really, really good. So that's alright. Eternal Bond, the Wicked Eraser. Um Majestic Dragon. I I get I guess Dawn of Majesty reprint, but still. Warrior Returning Alive, Tornado Dragon, and Chow Fang. This is actually, you know what? This actually makes a lot of sense to why it was reprinted because of that new Synchro Worm archetype coming out soon. So that makes sense. The Zhang Jian, uh, the Zhang Jian, like, I guess, because like you could have put Yang Zing cards in it with that as well. So that makes sense. Uh, Converging Wishes, Leo Arms again, Transcends, Eternal Bond, Warrior Returning Alive, King's Knight, and another Magnet Injunction. Uh, I'm gonna probably go a bit faster now because like we've gone through a lot of the cards and I kind of just really want to see what we get ultra rare wise because as I said the settings are good I think is that our first Jax Knight? I think that's our first Jax Knight <laughs> like come on uh, Warrior Returning Up. This is a Collector's Rare and this is a Collector's Rare I want so if we pulled a Collector's Rare that would be the one I would want um, the new Ting Dangled but yeah, um, seeing Rota as a Collector's Rare like I, I, I generally like Rota I like Reinforcements of the Army as a card uh, because of like warrior support and I would like to play some of it because I even have a hobby league place of reinforced for the army So it'd be nice to actually pull a collector's rare one too And that's the place of gravekeeper spy that I wanted uh, Queen's Knight, Wicked Dread Root and another Ting Dangles I don't want your Ting Dangles man Like they don't help me 
But where's our all second ultra? Like we pulled one ultra out of 24 packs so far. Um, Eraser, Majestic, Warrior, Ray, Tornado, this, and Xyz Hyper Cannon. This is the only Kyber support in here, surprisingly enough. Because this is for the um, XYZs, uh, the XYZ Dragon Cannon, or one fusion box that, um, that lists XYZ Dragon Cannon. Yeah, it's basically just support for that. Uh, Leo Arms, Transfer, Eternal Bond, King's Knight, Majestic, and oh, this is uh, something that I thought was a really good reprint too, Scrap Twin Dragon, because it's just basically, it's basically, Scraps don't have a lot of reprints, and Scrap Twin, Twin, Twin Dragon was only an ultra rare and an ultimate rare, if I remember correctly. So that's actually a very good reprint there, just for Scraps, so that was good. Uh, Xyz, Idol, Avatar, this is our first rivalry of the Warlords too, like, we have not been putting a lot of these cards, like the really good reprints, and that's our first one. You took it. Oh, 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 look at the. Oh, that actually is really nice. Arcana Triumph Joker. Oh, lovely, lovely, jubbly. I actually really like the look of this card. And also, this is like a Slyther S card as well. So. This makes me very, very happy to have pulled it because it's a slight it, like this basically has this very similar effect to Slifer. And this is the collector's rare version. Oh, get in. We got a collector's rare box worth it. Like, honestly, to make or break on these um, collector's rare boxes, you have to pull the collector's rare. Otherwise, it's just not worth it. So, you know what? We've got the collector's rare. Maybe we could get a god. Maybe. We could get a Slifer or a Ra or an Obelisk still? You know, I don't know. We still have one Ultra Rare left, so that'd be really nice just to see. Um, Converging Wishes, Eagle Claw, another Zen Arsenal. That's nice. Second Jax Knight, Unexpected Die. I think that's our place there. And ooh, two in a row, Gilted Gear Free, the Magical Steel Knight. This is actually, this is actually a really, really good card. This is a super poly target. And it basically says two warrior monsters with different attributes. And I know not a lot of decks play a lot of uh, different attribute warrior cards, but having an effect that's basically like, oh yeah, uh, I just need two different attribute warriors to actually make this. This is actually really, really nice. So I'm actually very happy with this card. Like, th like I'm, I'm happy with this box. We got collector's rare. We got a card that I actually did kind of want just to have, and I'm not, I'm not sad about that whatsoever. And we've still got what one, two, three, four, five boxes left. So, uh, five packs left. So, uh, I don't think we'll get anything in these packs, but who knows? Maybe we'll get something extra. Uh, the Wicked Dreadroot, Infinity Cards, Queen's Knight, Eternal Bond, Warrior, eh? and Magnet Induction. Hmm. You know what? I have also seen some boxes getting a Collector's Rare and Free Ultra Rare, so maybe they've changed the ratios a bit. That'd be nice. Uh, M7. Oh, Baxia. This was also another cut reprinted card. And this is actually a pretty good card. Like, the when this card is Synchro Summoned, uh, you can target cards on the field up to the number of different attribute worm monsters used for the Synchro Summon. So this actually works with the new uh, Worm Zhang Zheng archetype, as I said as well, which is actually pretty nice. Um, reinforcements, Wicked Eraser, Eternal Bond, and the White Rose Cloister, which is the card that I was talking about earlier that the Rose, Rose Princess searches, because it's just a card that summons free plant monsters from hand for free, pretty much, if you control no monsters, so that's pretty nice. Um, Golden Eyes Idol, Baxia. Okay, another one of those. That's our second second rivalry of the Warlords as well. And another Chao Feng. Okay, like, I don't think we're going to get anything else in these packs. But you never know, you never know. We could get something really good. Uh, something extra. Uh, Konami have done it before. Uh, base card fusion, second one of those. Two more packs left. Let's see, let's see. Come on. Come on. Let's see what we get. Come on. Uh, fourth Gravekeeper Spy, third rivalry of the Warlords. Okay, that's a pretty decent reprint. Uh, Zolga and another Thunder Speed Summon. So I need one more of this. And if the last pack has a copy of it, I'm not going to complain. But last pack. And we're going to go through this pack kind of slow. We're going to see what we get in our last pack. So we have a Dowsing Fusion. Rescue Rabbit. Okay, pretty good reprint, as I said earlier. Jax Knight. Okay. Unexpected Die. This is actually a pretty decent reprint pack. Utopia, Pendulum Transfer, and our card is Court of Cards. So yeah, I didn't think so. Um, as I said, like this, these sets tend to only have like three ultra rares and maybe a collector's rare in them. But you know what? 
I'm not upset with this box. Like, sure, we got a, a, an, a, an ultra rare that I don't consider to be very good, but we've got a collector's rare Arcana Triumph Joker, which is actually a really, really nice looking card that I think I'll actually keep for my collection because I actually really do like the look of this card. And we also got the new Super Poly target in the Gilted Gear Freed, which is actually really nice too. But guys, that is this box opening of King's Court. Tell me what your thoughts are on this box in the comment section below. Did I plus? Did I neg? Did I get good? Did I get bad? I don't know. Tell me in the comment section below because I'd love to hear your thoughts and opinions. But that is all I have to say for you in this episode, guys, or this video, guys. Um, please don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. Check out all the links in the description below to my Instagram, Discord, Patreon, all of that nice stuff there and i will see you guys in the next one robot one signing out later all we got the collector's ring <laughs> later